Oh, guten Tag. I hear you want to see some amazing German vehicles in the game of the Brickin' Riggins, hmm? Oh, Hans! Wait, yeah, Hans, that would be wunderbar! <laughs> well, Fritz, why don't you show me your biggest German vehicle? Fritz, look! It's a motorbike! Well, I mean, it's not the biggest German vehicle we've got, but I mean, it's pretty cute. This is the R75. The, the Bavarian Motorworks R75 motorcycle. Isn't it funny how, like, I wish it had a little machine gun in the, in the little, uh, sidecar there. This would be perfect. Can I, can I shoot from it? Whoa, I just, like, jumped. How did I do that? <laughs> Look at that thing. This, this thing stops on a freaking dime. Now, this is cool and all, and it would be a really nice way to, like, you know, Procure, you know, special documents and transfer them. Whoa! That's cool, man. Oh! <laughs> Fritz, I was being serious. We need something bigger. More Uber. Get to the chopper. Hans, 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 Hans. What about this? It's a verbal wind. It wins the verbals. Or does it verbal? Yeah, it verbals the winds, Hans. I swear it does. So this thing's pretty dope, by the way. 420s. Amazing. Fritz, come down from there. That is not big enough. We need more Uber. Daddy, do you like it? This is the Tiger Tank. Hans, 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 look. Look, Hans. It's the Tiger Tank. It will be the king of the desert. Until Matilda's queen of the desert, and then a tank shell jams in the turret, and we abandon it like the French with the white flags when the British get it, and then they have our plans, and then, and then those pesky Russians in the winter, they make T-34s, and everything is sad. Fritz, you're getting it. That is definitely more Uber, but we need more Uber! Hans, I've got the Uber weapon. It's the Nebelwerfer. It's so wunderbar right now. Oh my gosh. Everybody's talking about it in Berlin. Ooh. Well, what does it do? Oh, you know, it just fires the rockets. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, we have a problem. The rockets are jammed. How about a little bit of magic? Oh, hey, look at this. Look at this. This is hilarious. Okay, so it only... It, it, never, it never fires all of them. All right, let's let's see this in slow motion. Oh yeah, this is going to be so. Oh my gosh, look at those rockets wiggly waggling down there. <laughs> Torpedoes away! Oh my god, can you imagine getting hit by a Nebelwerfer? Mm. Well, that is a great weapon, Fritz. But we need. You know what? You're an idiot. I will show you how it's done. Oh my god, Hans, what is this? Oh my gloriousness, this, my friends, my compatriots, my Frau und mein Frauleins, this is the P1000 Ratte. And I don't think the Germans roll their R's, but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta have a little bit of fun with it. Look at this. I don't know why, but it's on this stand. I think it's probably to allow it. Oh, 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 oh. Stop it. Stop it. What? What is this? Twerk some. Oh, look at this. Okay, so we're disengaging these racks on the bottom. We still got these dirt plates up there. We may have to redo this, but we are going to be touring one of the largest tanks ever built. Just kidding. It was never built because it's too ridiculous. There we go. One more. So, now I think I should be able to get in this, can I? Oh, baby. So we opened up. Ah! <laughs> the German mad scientists are at it again! Beep. Oh my god, so this is what it looks like blowing up. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll see it alive. Maybe, unless the Russians decide to attack. A little bit of foreboding right there. The, the Russians do attack to try to take this, don't worry. Yeah, do those flips, girl. I'm not a girl, I'm a rat. All right, let's try this again. So look at this. We're not going to overextend that. Those go down. This is like if the Hindenburg were to have dropped this thing off, I guess. 
Ooh, look at those guns. We don't want to fire now or this thing's going to explode. So, yeah, basically this was built in a factory vertically for whatever reasons. Maybe it would make itself a more narrow target for the Allied heavy bombing campaign. Alright, when is this thing done? Okay. Seems to be good. Look at this. Look at this in all of its beauty. So, it's got a front hull-mounted cannon. Two giant cannons that you'd see on a German battleship. Uh, fighting for the Kriegsmarine. Oh, it looks like it's drifting a little bit backwards. We've got a flak gun on the top. We've got some, what, strobe lights, and then we've got two tank turrets. This is just one of the different variants of what people imagine the rat to look like. This was the first rat, I believe, made in the Brick Rigs workshop. All right, stop rolling. Stop it. We don't want to... We don't want to break everything. Oh my god, it's twerking. All right, that seems to have stabilized. Let's get out. Let's drop these plates. Boop. Now we gotta drop it in six locations. Boop. There we go, we dropped it in the front. Now we can drop it in the back. But like, look at this. This thing is a beast. Can you imagine trying to attack this thing? If you were to attack this thing, what would you use other than Polish cavalry? Wait a minute. That should have dropped it. Uh oh. Bullets always fuck, okay? Alright, let's try this. So you can get inside there. If we could, if we could somehow... Jump on this? Oh my god, it didn't blow up this time. Okay, we are in the rat. Let's tour it from the inside. Hello? Oh, this is where the munitions are kept. Some shells for one of the... I, I don't seem to be able to get through there. All right, well, we're to, we'll tour it here. Wait. Oh my god, here's what? Two of the engines. Here's two more engines. This is like what? D a, a, a V12? Oh my god, look at this. The auto-loading system. Let's get into one of these, like, get into the turret. Here's the twin turrets. Oh my god, look at that. That is freaking gorgeous. So you kind of... Here's the loaders. Is there a way up to that turret? I don't think so, but this is, like, added level of detail that you didn't need to put into it. And here's, like, the vents for the engines. Oh my god, can you imagine? So, so one of the things that made this design impractical was it was huge. There was no bridges that could support something this big. I mean, I think they ha they made, like, the mouse tanks, which was smaller than the rat. And I think they actually had some prototypes built of that. And then they were going to do the E100, which was a variant of the mouse. And even that thing was too big for almost every bridge that was ever designed at the time of World War II. These Germans is crazy! Alright, so let's see how this puppy goes. We- we disengaged the racks there. So we should be able to drive off. But like, can, can you imagine the firepower? That's no moon! It's a space station! No, this is a land battle ship. Now, all the guns fire at the same time, right? But like, look at it in all of its glory. Hans and Fritz would be so happy, it's so amazing. And you kind of turn all the guns at the same time. Some of the the AA gun on the top kind of does its own thing. Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh! Yeah, but the Allied bombers would just destroy. Would have just destroyed this thing. So here's the more simplified version that actually is much better at like uh, being able to use the guns, right? So it's a refined version of the original. You've got your main guns. Hello, they pop it. You've got your secondary guns. Which are, what, the coaxial mounted machine guns, which would probably be auto cannons. These things would be able to take down freaking airplanes. Then you've got these things, which, these turrets is what, like, would be on top of a mouse, I'm pretty sure. And then you got, they got their machine guns. Then you got the frontal gun, baby. Pew! Look at that, man. I wish you, I wish we could, like, move it a little bit. There's, there's like, you know, some limitations, obviously, in brick rigs, especially if you're gonna try to build, like, the biggest tank ever designed. You guys thought the KV-6, the Russian KV-6 that we showed off in the last video was crazy? When we fought off the Polish cavalry and tanks? Oh my gosh, that was amazing. I just wish, like, I just wish, like, something would attack us. Hans, I'm so happy the Russians are here! What, what, what do you mean the Russians is here? I'm British now, cause... Cause I can't keep track of me accents. Hans, are you okay? The Russians are over there! Oh my god! The Russians are already blowing up. They got T-34 tanks. They've got, what would this be, a BT-7. More T-34s. 
We got those little like uh, T60 or T70 tank chassis with the rocket pods on the top. We've got KV2 tanks. They're trying to take. They're trying to take it. They're trying to take the mouse. That's not a mouse. That's a rat. The Russians are coming. The Russians are coming. Dang. They got their new jet technology over here. All right. These things are approaching kind of quick. We're going to have to use. Oh, look at this zoom in. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Yes. Look at that. Da, 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 da. Oh my god, we were aiming for the KV-2. I think we hit the BT-7 in the front because, I mean, I know we did because it's flying. The pieces are flying in the air. Oh, yes! One of them hit the fuel tanks. Let's detonate the fuel tanks. Use the machine guns. Take out their main weapons. Fire! Fire! Oh, yes, we took that out with auto cannons. Doosh, doosh, doosh. Oh, listen to that. Look at the KV-2 just erupting. These are definite auto cannons because you can see them just ripping apart the armor of that armored half track in the back there. Oh my gosh, that's some Len Lease American technology getting absolutely. What's that? What's the word? Jaeger schnitzeled. That's the technical term, boys. It is getting Jaeger schnitzeled by the Germans. Oh my gosh, look at this, dude. This is glorious. This is, this is just some advanced, advanced technology here. Oh my god! I mean, that's just, that's just everything you want and more. Fire the main guns! Fire the other gun! Look at it. Douche. Oh, sweet! Oh, wait! Oh, that's because there's two of them! They're the opposite side. Look, you can see two shells going off. Oh, man, we're absolutely destroying these things. Look at this. So what's left of the Russian invasion force? We got a BT-7 with maybe one guy still piloting the thing. We've got another BT-7. Those things are crazy fast. Look at this. Pieces are flying up in the air. The Russian armor core. Is that an officer? The officer is sitting here. Oh, my God. There's there's a bunch of guys just chilling on the back of this. Well, I guess it could be a KV-1. No, it's definitely a KV-2, right? We got this baby still up. We got these. We're going to try the Nebelwerfer in just a second. Look at the, these guys are trying to reload the tank. But there's nothing left, man. It's all dead. There's another KV-2 out here. Yeah, there's a few vehicles. This one's retreating. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little T-60... Uh, Light tank with an auto cannon. Oh man, look at this. So this is what, like mobile artillery? Oh man. All right, so let's check out this Russian Armada. Look at this, man. This is awesome. I love the infantry stacked on top of the armored vehicles. It is time for the Russians to attack this next wave. So what we did this time is turn it on side so it could bring the most guns to bear. Mainly four. And actually, I guess we kind of had that last time. It definitely looks cooler. So this is what, the main gun? Oh, you guys done messed up now. Oh my god. Look at the Russian force just absolutely vaporized. We got T-34 turrets flying in the air. The shrapnel is absolutely destroying and like literally forcing some of the other tanks to move. Like it's forcing them 10, 15 feet to the side perpendicularly of where they were traveling initially. And it's caused a delay in this force. These poor Russian infantry have no idea. They were just sent out here. Look at the pieces. The shrapnel's flying over here. I think this thing might actually get hit with some of the shrapnel. Do you guys want to see this fight the KV-6? If you want to see this thing fight the KV-6 for the Mother Russia, let me know. Alright, here we go. Fire the second volley! Why are we British? Alright, the cannons are in the air. Oh my gloriousness! In Russian music plays in the background. Da -da 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 and all that good stuff. And then we eat the goulash. Isn't that Hungarian? Wait, borscht, right? Yeah, that's what I want. I want some borscht. I want that purple soup that tastes oh so good. Man, the Russians here, they, they're wearing their flags because they've got much patriotic fly, pride. Plied? They're plying their trade here. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. I have not a clue. All right, we now need to use the other cannons. 
Alright, now we're gonna need to be more strategic in our shots. We've got a T-34 sight in us. Whoa. Hold on. There it is! Did we get a hit? Oh! I wish I was better at the camera. Look at that! Yeah! Oh my god, these poor guys had not a chance. I wish that multiplayer and brick rigs could take better control of just all the stuff. So we've got, oh man, we've got tons of stuff out here still. The Russians are still coming, Tavarish. Wait, what? I, I cannot keep my, I can't keep my actions. My actions. Oh man. All right, we're firing some auto cannons just arbitrarily. Fire the triple A's. All right, we've got another. Oh, dude, it, it downed the armored car. You can. Oh, look at that. The, it's just won't stop. Oh, that sounds so cool. That's it in real time. Slow motion. Real time. Slow motion. Real time. Not so schnell. Abner schnell. Schneller. So schnell right now. Not so schnell. All right. Let's go ahead and line up that T-34. Oh my god, look at this. You can see the two shots. Oh, it ripped the top of the turret. The flag is flying. Oh man, that's just not good. Do you want to be in there? I, I don't. That's why I am in the rat. Actually, the turret did a pretty good job at surviving the hit. It just flopped right off. Now, this poor guy, he's dead. He did, Jim. Jim, he did. Look at that. All right, let's check this out. And... Dude, it straight up decapitized. Oh, wait. This T-34 is still making a brave charge. The rest of the Russian force seems to be very disorganized. What just happened? We had secondary explosions. Ammo racks! I swear... Oh, my God. What is happening? Everything's blowing up. In their attempt to retreat... Oh, my God. They need to fire their rockets. But they seem to just, like, not be in range. They can't even do it. The German technology is so advanced right now. Uh-oh. This BT-7 is on fire. It is approaching a giant artillery piece. The Russians' people's heads are flying off. Oh, my God. I love it. I, I love slow motion and physical destruction. Like, put that in the game and I'm gonna play it. All right? And it's got at least a chance to be good. All right. Let's go real time, baby, and finish these guys off. Actually... You may fire when ready. Oh, I'm gonna fire when ready. You don't have to tell me how to do my job. Fire! Silence the auto cannons. We need to focus. That one's trying to get away. Not anymore, he did. What about that guy? He's gone too! Why? Hans and Fritz, don't worry. Just because an American is operating the greatest armored tank you guys have ever constructed, don't be mad about it. This is a test range, man. It's just a video game. You're crazy. Hans and Fritz, oh yeah. All right. Now, we're gonna fire this one more time. Once more into the breach. And I wanna follow these shells in. I gotta- I gotta speed up. Oh, they just- they just... One flight over the cuckoo nest, as the, uh, Belgians never said. We need to... focus. Alright, there's the shells. This is in slow motion, mind you. I was aiming for this truck in the back. It's the command vehicle. Alright. Trying to hit the command vehicle! Oh man, there's just so much wreckage in the way. Look at this. Oh man. Alright, we'll fire some auto cannon rounds here. Let's see what the auto cannons are doing. Look at this. We're trying to hit this guy right here. But nothing is getting through because there's literally a wall of destroyed armor. You can see some of the pieces here, probably from some just absolutely destroyed T-34s. You know what? This thing took a direct hit from an auto cannon and it burnt up. And these guys are still, they got their Russian vodka. They got their PPSH-41 submachine guns with 71 rounds. Oh my gosh, what a cool gun. We're just gonna fire scatter shots here. Oh, this looks like it could be on, baby. Oh yeah, command vehicle's been struck. And rendered demobilized. Well, that's the end of that Russian army. Let's try out the Neville Werfer against these guys. We just broke the guns. I got bad news and good news. The bad news is the Russians are invading. The good news is the Russians are invading. Here they come. And 
that we've got Neville Werfer technology to fight them. Heck yeah! Let's do this. So, here we go. Oh god. Hold on. We need to realign ourselves. Fires and apples! Oh my god, this this may not work out. They're going. The problem with these things is they have such a big blast radius. If one goes off, it can totally <laughs> It can do that. Let's try it again. Oh my gosh. Well, not as good as the Russian rockets. Oh, that one got stuck on the rack. I don't know if this is really going to be able to defend it much. They all- <laughs> it, it blew it up and turned it backwards! Ooh. Oh, I was going to say, that one looks so good. I wish I could fire them one at a time, but you cannot. It's literally, you just have one attack button. Oh, that one actually- that's pretty smooth. That might be a perfect launch. If none of those touch the ground, if none of the- Oh man, they, they've got a very, very short range. Look at where the Russians are. Look at where the rockets are. Alright, we're gonna wait for the Russians. Don't blink till you see the whites in their eyes. Why not blink? Cause then they can see the whites in our eyes. Why- why the pirate accent? I don't- I don't really know. Alright, they're approaching closer! Alright, so I'm gonna keep the... I'm gonna keep pressing W. Oh! Well, when they get close, those guys have no chance, I'll tell you that much. Da, 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 da. Oh, wait. There were actually some explosions here. It looks like... Looks like one of the KV-2s flipped. I have not a clue why. The T-34s and the BT-7s are approaching very quickly. And there is the little baby Nebelwerfer. All right, I'd say this is about they're they're just now entering the range of these things. Oh man, look at the piece. This, mind you, that's in slow motion. Slow motion for me. All right, we're going to try turning them. Oh boy. Oh boy, we might we might just Oh my god. These two broke 3. Broke 3? <laughs> well, I guess there's 3 of them. Maybe it's a Freudian slip. There's 4. They're not even breaking three! Boom! <laughs> Look at these two! Aren't gonna be on target, but I think the kinetic force of these Neville were for these 30 centimeter rockets. And... Well, I, I mean, they... Look at that! They at least gave those guys a headache! Oh my god! Fireballs! Fireballs! One of them... One of them's destroyed. Alright, let's try that again. Because that was really, really good, actually. That was- that was the best launch. That one doesn't look like a very good launch. That- that's not a very good launch. Oh, you know what it is. I know what it is. Do you know what I know? The rockets, the rockets, we're firing them too early. I'm sorry, honey, I swear that never happens. Why are we singing Christmas songs? Alright, it's stabilized. The rack is normalized. Oh, one? Well, you know what? Sometimes you just need one. All right. Where are you going, baby? Yeah, see, it's it's like you cannot count on it. Oh, you know what? That was like one of the best ones. And I don't think it's going to have a target. I want a Lego. Like, this is as close as we're... Oh, my God. This one's going to space. But, but Baron, Baron, where did the German you have... Oh, my God. No way. Are you going to hit back here? No. He's literally going to space. He, he doesn't care. That would have been perfect when we start- Actually, that would have been- What happened over there?! The rockets are- I don't even know. Alright. Let's try this again. Alright. The rack... Is stabilized. How many rockets break free? Well, it only looks like all of them. This could be good. Alright, if you're this tanker... This is what you see coming. I think we can survive this. I take it all back! We cannot survive this! Oh, we've got a skipper! Oh my god! What just happened? I want a rewind function because that was... Oh my god, one of the rockets just destroyed the entire Russian army! Did you see that, Fritz and Hans? Oh my god, we've got secondary explosions happening at the fuel depot. Guys, they said these rockets weren't Wunderbar. Oh my god. What happens if we fire and that plate blocks the rockets? That would be so cool. 
Oh, come on, baby. Come on! Oh, these ones are low, and it's just gonna cause a reaction, and those two are so low, they'll destroy the Nebelwerfer rack. Look at that. Yeah, Nebelwerfers were a lot, uh, better than this. <laughs> oh my god. We've got a helicopter. The Russians invented the helicopter, we all saw it. Alright, that one's gonna hit, and it's gonna cause a chain reaction. That's the problem. What about this one? Attempt number 99999. Uh, actually... No, that one will detonate, and it'll trigger that one, unless we get super lucky. Nope. Oh my. So that guy is in a, a bit of a predicament. Eins, zwei, drei! Come on, baby. Oh, uh-oh. Could it, can it break free? I think, I think it could. I don't think that one's gonna affect these ones. Oh, that one is, look at this, you can see that the rocket pod. Rocket man, that one is gonna skip No, oh, it just created a shotgun rocket now this one. Oh, man Look at it. It's it's flying so beautifully But there's no targets back here. We need a target rich environment wait Oh, if it could if you could airburst them. How cool would that be? <laughs> that would it that would have destroyed that kb2 that was back there. Oh my god. They just took down some buildings! Yeah, Hans, maybe we aim at a target that's easier to hit. Wunderbar! And this is the German rocket technology. Prepare your butts! The Statue of Liberty is kaput! Oh my gosh. That's definitely what we should do. What movie is that from? What movie was The Statue of Liberty is kaput? What is that from? And I know what you're thinking. Whoa. That was crazy. Oh my god. That's bad. Sometimes... You need to just have the enemy right in front of you. Oh, that one. <laughs> that one did not make it out of the rack. Oh yeah, shrapnel baby! Where's this one going? Do we have a target? Um, I don't think it's gonna reach that one? But I've been wrong before. Wait a minute. This might be the best rocket of all of them. Oh my god, no freaking way. A direct hit! We seen it, baby. The Russian command artillery vehicle is destroyed. What is going on back here? Oh my god, we, there's just more stuff. This rocket, it's like, I'm not gonna be outdone. I'm gonna go to the moon. Look at that, and that's just, oh my god. We just set a oh, and it skipped. Oh my god, we just set a distance record for Nebelwerfer rockets. Guys, this was a little bit of a showcase on some German technology. We had the Rat, and we had the Nebelwerfers. We got to see a few other cute little vehicles too, and we had a giant Russian attack. We thwarted it twice using the Rat, the greatest tank that almost, well, it could have ever been built anyway. It wasn't so. And then the Nebelwerfer for rocket technology that the Germans invented. This is awesome. Let me know what you'd like to see in the next one if you want to see more brick rigs. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy Saturday!